are back with audience reactions to It Chapter 2 and we have Crystal and Justin who just got out of the movie and so your overall reaction. I wasn't super impressed. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I love Honestly. horror movies and this one was not as uncomfortable and unsettling as the first one. Okay. I enjoyed it, but it still was not as good as the first. Gotcha. What about you, Justin? Yeah, I have to agree. It was a good conclusion of the story, but it wasn't super scary. Like, okay. Definitely could have been PG. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think prevented it from being as scary as the first? There was a lot of focus on breaking the uncomfortable with humor and it was funny but that just that breaks up the unsettling the, the part of it yeah that's <laughs> exactly. supposed to build up right? exactly okay what, you, you yeah. agree with that yeah there just wasn't anything like truly terrifying about it I mean we we know like the lore of the clown and like he he feeds on the fear and everything but okay. it didn't really seem to go anywhere great okay so um, the original it from 1990 compare Tim Curry and maybe Bill Skarsgård which one is the better clown I loved Tim Curry. He was fantastic because okay. he was so creepy in in a very non in your face way. Way okay. Bill Skarsgård, yeah, was very creepy and scary in the first one. I thought he did a great job. Um, I'd still go with Tim Curry, <laughs> honestly. Okay. okay. What about what about yeah, you, Justin? They did a lot of CGI to Bill Skarsgård in this one, which kind of I think detracted a little bit because you could definitely tell when it wasn't actually a practical yeah, effect. The CGI. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, Whereas everything with Tim Curry was was real. So uh, one more question, just out of curiosity, the actors. How do they portray? How, how did you find the adult actors portraying their smaller counterparts? I thought they were fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> they were. I mean, uh, Richie and um, Ben. I think it was like they they looked exactly like them. They have. I mean, I thought they were related. Yeah, they but, did a good job. Yeah, of and how they looked even right. even like their eye movements, like some. Sometimes it just Mimic yeah, really it was well. really really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Did you have one particular actor that stood out, perhaps, or um, anybody in the movie like Bill Hader, maybe, or Jessica Chastain, or I think Hader really really nailed it. I mean, the glasses were the same, the mannerisms yeah. and the speech patterns were the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, he really did a good job with it. Okay, excellent. So on our YouTube channel, we use uh, movie reels to rate our our reviews. So five being the highest, one being the lowest. How many reels would you give? It chapter two. I think I'll give it three. Yeah, three. Okay. Okay. Three, three, three reels, and then? Yeah, definitely a three to four. Three, three to, to four. four. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, thank you for sharing your reaction, okay? And we'll hope to see you again soon, okay? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, with the real screeners, we have Oscar. Oscar, talk about this movie. Um, a lot of people are anticipating it. Um, you said you've seen the first one. How did this really work out for you? I think it's a good follow up, kind of like around evenly matched with the first one. I know it's hard because the book is like really thick, like a thousand plus pages. I know that has to be a challenge for anybody to d adapt something like that huge. So, okay, have you seen the 1990 classic with uh, Tim Curry? Oh yeah, that's like a three hour movie. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I have seen the movie and yeah, I know it's kind of hard to top Tim Curry with an iconic performance and whenever you see a storm drain or a red balloon, you think of that <laughs> that's performance. That's right, he scared all of us moving forward, right? I know, right? But Bill Skarsgård does a fantastic job with uh, with Pennywise. I mean, would you agree with that? I mean, everyone seems to love him. Oh yeah, he makes it his own so he doesn't try to mimic or copy, he try to make it his own character so that way you want to be comparing you know, like comparing contrast of like what's different. So talk about anything you liked or disliked in this in this movie in the sequel. Well, the one thing that's kind of like I've heard a bit and I kind of agree with it too, is the length. It's like 240 so you kind of feel it a little bit but then yet it's, I understand why it's because of the character development of each character going through their motions and stuff. Okay, yeah. so Oscar, on our channel what we do is we rate movies on a scale of one to five movie reels. Okay, how many okay. movie reels would you give it chapter two? Three to three and a half. Okay. Just some parts that like, that did freak me out. I like the subtle. I like the subtlety in the background because like there was one scene where Pennywise is in the background or like you notice something like, wait, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, in the background, that's like the thing I like. I like subtlety, not just jump scare, jump scare, jump scare over and over, you know? Right, because it's kind of monotonous and yeah, after a while, yeah. A it's like, tedious. I'm like, okay, I can. I know, it's all quiet. I'm going to expect it. Okay. <laughs> you know. All right, so I'm sorry this kind of fell a 
little bit short of expectations, but would you recommend people still go to the theater to watch it or no? I say yeah. I still say yeah. If you watch the first one, then you'll like the second one. It wouldn't be like a waste of your time, you know? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, Oscar, thanks a lot for being on the channel with us. Oh, yeah. Hope to see you around the Alamo Draft House sometime, okay? Yeah, All right. Have a nice evening. We're back at the Alamo Draft House giving you our audience reactions to It Chapter 2. And here we have Adrian and Selena, who just got out of the movie. And so, what is your overall reaction to this movie? We'll start with you, Adrian. Um, I, I love the fact that it, um, it incorporated the first movie into this. Uh, second movie, um, I mean they always do but the fact that they put in all the secrets the um, I don't want to give anything away but um, <laughs> Spoiler free. It's, oh, it's awesome, it's amazing. It's a fun ride, huh? It's a fun, intense ride. What about you, Selena? So I get scared easily by you know, any kind of scary movie but I really enjoyed it a lot because there was more of a story to it rather than just jump scares or rather than just suspense, you, you get more of a story to it. That's right. Okay, so uh, compared Compared to the first It, how would you kind of like, you know, which one did you enjoy more? Or were they on the same level, more or less? For me, they were on the same level. I actually okay. wish I watched the first one first before going to see the second one, because I was like, when you first see, you know, all the kids, you're like, oh yeah, which one is this one? Or how were they again? So I right. kind of wish I refreshed my memory on that. But I feel like they both gave me that same suspense and they both had a story to tell. Excellent. You know, Bill Skarsgård plays Pennywise. What do you think of of him as Pennywise the clown uh, his performance I think he did amazing as I, he kept his he never really he never broke character at all I mean he was creepy the whole time for me I was just like <gasps> like you can't really even I couldn't I didn't even know it was him like until I found it like in the beginning where the they kind of give you right, that trivia yeah, yeah the yeah, backstory yeah. so I was like what that's him because you just never see it it's just they did such an amazing job he did such an amazing job acting so right, right, yeah right, right. have you guys happened to see the or happen to watch the original Original it movie, the one from 1990 with Tim Curry. Yeah. yeah so, how do you, what do you think compared to Tim Curry? Uh, well, it's a whole different dynamic, uh, a whole different character. Uh, Tim Curry, amazing, amazing actor. Um, uh, but this Pennywise, it just it hits more to like um, the younger, the millennials. So, I, I love Tim Curry's performance way better than the Scars Guard. The Scars Guard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, on our uh, YouTube channel, we rate our movies using movie reels, five being the highest, one being the lowest. So out of five, how many reels would you give it, Selena? I would give it a four, and that is because with the whole storytelling of it and everything, like I said, you get that suspense and those jump scares, but it also tells that story of how standing up to a bully and all that, and, um, you know, just sticking together as friends, that, that friendship right. is there. Some really good themes yes. in there, huh? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, and what about you? I would say a four as well. Um, a great movie, like she said, it's it's hitting to the millennials and um, just stay together, be friends, don't give up on life, and just be who you are. Good life lessons, huh? Good life Overall. lessons. Very good. Okay, well, thank you so much for yes, giving us your you. reaction, okay? Yes. We really thank you and uh, have a good evening, okay? Thank you. Take thank care. You. So next up here at the Alamo Draft House, we have Raymond and Samantha. Okay, so Raymond, let's talk about this movie. There's a lot of hype behind it. What are your thoughts coming out of the theater? Oh, it was a very good movie. A very good movie. I I enjoyed it. It was better than the first one. It's better than the original one. Yeah. What did you like? For, what did you like about this one more than the first one? Uh, it was more gory. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot, a lot of special effects. It it was almost like the book. Okay, so you're highly familiar with the source material. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. All right. So Samantha, what did you think of this movie? Um, I thought it was absolutely amazing, and I think it lives up to its hype. Okay. How would you compare it with the first one? Um, it was definitely a lot better. Um, a lot of things happened that I didn't expect so it was really good okay. now this obviously was a super long movie mm -hmm. did it feel long for you or was it was it just right um, I don't think it was long at all because it doesn't drag like it leaves you wanting to know what happens next so okay. it was really good. And, and there's a lot more comedy this time around right oh yeah for sure for sure it was really funny I don't want to do any spoilers but it's super funny. <laughs> so funny even some of the scary parts were kind of funny weren't oh, they yeah it was like something scary would happen and then they would say something funny so it's kind of balanced out okay Mm -hmm. Alright, great. On our channel, what we do is we rate movies on a scale of 1 to 5, and we call them, instead of stars, we say movie reels, because we're the real screeners. Mm -hmm. So, on a, we'll start with you, Raymond. On a scale of 1 to 5 movie reels, how many reels would you give this one? You know what? I'm going to give it a 5. A 5? A 5. It's, it's worth the see, man. It's worth the, to watch the movie, man. Okay. You should definitely watch it. It's a really good movie. Alright. Glowing 
recommendation. My goodness, all right. Uh, Samantha, how about yourself? Um, I would give it a six. I definitely six. even come back and watch it again two, three times. You're like, you need to add three more reels to your rating. It was that good. <laughs> it was amazing. I loved it. And I love scary movies, so it was on top for me. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being on our channel. And hopefully, we'll see you again at the, here at the Alamo Draft House. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're back at the Alamo Draft House, and I have Marlene here with me, who just got out of It Chapter 2. And so, Marlene, your overall reaction to the movie, what did you think overall? I honestly thought it was pretty good, but I enjoyed the first one a lot more than the second one, yes. Okay. Uh, why, why do you think that is? Why did you enjoy the first movie more? The first one was scarier. Was it? Yes, yes, okay. yes. This movie had more uh, funny moments, huh? Yes. Like more comedy? It was a bit uh, funnier, but yeah, the first one was a lot scarier. The first one was a lot scarier, yeah. What did you think of the adult actors playing like the child roles? Yeah. I thought that was interesting. I thought they were a good fit. Um, yeah. I was a bit confused because I didn't know what was going on, like but who was who, who, was who exactly, but yeah. I figured it out. So. I figured it out, of yeah. course, of course. Um, do you happen to have a favorite character in the movie that stood out to you? Mm. I guess the clown. <laughs> the clown? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bill Skarsgård, huh? Yeah. Yeah, playing a Pennywise. He did good. He did good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you seen the original, um, the original It, like the one from 1990, the old movie with Tim Curry? I have. You have, yeah? So what do you think comparing that version to this new, these new movies? Uh, well, I think they're, all the movies are pretty good by themselves, but the oldest one is the best one. Definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was very scared. You know, out of all the scary movies you've seen, how would you rank these new it's uh, compared to other movies this year, for example? I would rank it out of nine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Out of ten? Out of ten. Okay. Well, actually, that was going to be my next question because on our YouTube channel, we uh, use movie reels to rate our movies, five reels being the highest rating. So if you give it a nine out of ten, maybe four and a half out of five? Four and a half stars, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you enjoyed it pretty good. Yes. Okay. So a satisfied customer. So thank you very much for sharing your reaction. Okay. And have a good evening. Thank you very much. With us today, we have Felipe and Aiden. Thanks, guys, for being on the show with us, being on the channel. Thank you for so, having us. All right. So this movie had a lot of hype behind it, especially coming off the heels of that success of the first movie. And so what did you guys think about it? What are, your, I guess, your general thoughts? It picks up the same pace. It has the same beats. I mean, there was some moments where we were, like, like grasping for, like, not a jump scare, but it, it, it works. Everything is great from beginning to end. The perfect balance from humor to scares, everything. Emotional ride was great. Great. Yeah. So let's talk about the clown Pennywise. Have you seen the first one? Yeah, I've seen every single one. Oh, great. Do you think that he was just as scary as he was in the first It movie? Uh, no, he was a little more scarier. Yeah. What, what do you think made him scarier in this one? Um, when he had the spider legs and when he was bigger and then in, I guess there was more jump scares. Yeah, more jump scares for sure. Um, now, in the first half of the movie, you know, they kind of took their time with some of the characterization. I mean, how did you like that approach? It was, it was, it was great because you see them um, in the future as far as, you know, 27 years later, but it's great. It, it matches from when they were little to when they grow up. It's the same uh, chemistry. It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. All right. Let's talk about that haunted house scene, Aiden. I mean, what did you think of that? Um, yeah, there were some jump scares in the haunted house scene. There was a part with the dog. Do you remember the dog behind the door? Oh, yeah. What did you think of that scene? It was... They thought it was normal, but it wasn't normal. Does it make you think twice about maybe having a Pomeranian? No. <laughs> Probably not, huh? No. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what you guys thought overall of this movie. So on our show, what we do is we rate movies on a scale of one to five movie reels because we're the real screeners, obviously. So, um, Felipe, we'll start with you. How many reels would you give this movie? I would say five overall. Maybe I could give it more, but it, it was perfect. I would give it a five. All right, Aiden, on a scale of one to five movie reels? I would give it a five. A five? All right. So some satisfied customers, guys. Thank you for being on the show with the real screeners. You guys have a good rest of your night. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.